So what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is we're going to be adding the JavaScript that will make the box show up to force a user to pick a username if they don't already have one. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to our index page and we're going to uh, open some script tags. So we're going to create a function called check cookie which will check if the cookie uh, is, has been set which is the username cookie. So you can see here we have two functions that run when the web page loads from the template. We have the check cookie function and we have the update function. The, uh, leave the update function alone for now. We're only focusing on the check cookie function. So the way the check cookie function works is it sees if the cookie is, uh, has been set. The way, and the way it does that is it says if uh, document.cookie.index of and here we give the cookie name uh, and the cookie name is equal to a uh, messenger you name. So here is the cookie we want to check for and we want to set say, is this function equal to minus one because this means uh, if it's minus one then the cookie hasn't been set if it's not minus one then the cookie already has been set. So what we want to do here is we want to say show the login uh, page if the cookie is not set and then if the cookie is set we want to say hide login. So then we want to go up here and we want to create that function. So we'll say function show login. And this function is going to display the white BG and the login box divs. So we do that as just a document dot get element by ID. The first one is white BG. I want to say dot style dot uh, display equals inline block. Then we just want to copy this and paste it again and change this to login box. So now it's going to check is this uh, cookie set and we uh, upload this and refresh and you can see now our login box has been uh, displayed because our cookie hasn't been set. So now what we want to do is we want to create the function that uh, lets the user pick their username. So the way that works is if you go up here you can see we have the button and it says on click choose username which is the function we want to run. So we want to actually, before we do that we want to go up here and copy the lo show login function and change it to hide login and change uh, just change inline block to uh, display equal to none. That will then hide the uh, login information again or the login uh, blocks again. So now we want to create the function choose username and we want to um, create a variable called user and we're going to set it equal to document dot get element by id and we're going to get the c username element and we're going to get the dot value which means we're going to get the value attribute from that element. So you can see here is the uh, element we're talking about. It's called. It's got an ID of C username, and we want to get the value of that text box. I want to store it in the user variable. Then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, actually create the cookie. So the way we do that is we say document dot cookie uh, is equal to, and then we want to say uh, whoops uh, messenger uname equals, and then we want to put in user. Then we want to run check cookie again. And when we run check cookie, this time the cookie will have been set, which means uh, the hide login function will run, which will uh, hide the login uh, script. We can uh, In JavaScript, you can omit the semicolons um, most of the time, but for consistency, I'll just keep the semicolon in. So we'll just uh, run this now. And we will refresh the page. We'll choose a username, which is going to be Francis. We're going to click choose username and you can see the box disappeared. The way we can check the cookie has actually been set, which is uh, obvious because the uh, box disappeared. But you can check with the console, ignore this error for now, that's just because we haven't uh, defined the update function. The, re the way we can check is we just said document dot, um, we'll just actually copy this. Document dot cookie dot index of. And you can see it says 32, which means uh, the cookie has been set because it's not minus 1. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.